I wrote up a paper um, describing the psychological impacts that a cancer diagnosis has on a patient and their family. I went through the different stages of, of a diagnosis. It goes from diagnosis to treatment to rehabilitation to survivorship to reoccurrence and to terminal. And I was really interested in this paper because I've had many conversations with people at Camp Sunshine and I've, I've really heard a bunch of stories from everyone's perspective and like a sister's perspective, a mother's perspective. And it's really interesting to see the different sides that people take on such a traumatic experience in their lives. Um, and I learned a lot through this research paper about how the emotional impacts affect the family's dynamics, they affect the behavioral changes. It really changes a lot and it's so important to keep communicating through everything. But it's just something so unexpected can happen in any day and you have to just be prepared to be strong. And my paper goes through all of these different stages and how it really changes a person's behavior and communication. Um, my future plans. I will continue finding ways to give back to Camp Sunshine. I plan on volunteering in June as well as in August. I want to go back for as long as I'm able to. It's, it's really become my second home. It's become so much more than that. I wish I was there right now. I, I love it there. And so I'll also, I'm searching for other camps, maybe a little bit closer to me, so that I can go there, spend my free time whenever I can. Um, I will also give more attention to other fundraising events, because I know how much hard work and how much effort goes into planning a fundraiser, and how nice it is to receive support. So I really look at all, like, I look at all of these events differently, all the walks, all the marathons, I think that I will definitely support as many as I can after putting so much work into what I did and knowing how hard it is. And I've always felt that the purpose of my life is to help make a difference in other people's lives and wherever life takes me, I'm going to make time for organizations like Camp Sunshine. And because as much as these families have made a difference, Maybe, as much as I have made a difference in these families' lives, they've really made a difference in my own life. And I will never forget all of the experiences I've spent at Camp Sunshine or I've spent helping others in other environments. Um, okay. I have a few acknowledgments. I want to thank my mentor, Marty Cooper, for helping me through this entire process, encouraging me every step of the way. I could not have asked for a better mentor. Devin Parks for being so supportive, giving such great advice, and really helping me, which, helped me, which kept me on track the entire way, so thank you. Uh, Greg Drossel, Jim Nolan, Sai E. Bromowitz, Andre Johnson for helping me set up the event details. My mom, she's been so great, and she actually volunteered with me at Camp Sunshine for one of the weeks, and I know that her heart is in this just as much as mine was. And I also want to thank Raw School for giving me this opportunity. My friends and volunteers, you were all so amazing. Thank you so much for helping me in any and every way. I will never forget the support I received and the energy that you all brought into the event. So thank you. Are there any questions for Robert? Yes. Well done, Harley. Thank you. Um, now that you've done an extensive amount of research um, on your topic, how do you think that's going to help you next time you go back to Camp Sunshine? Well, I'll definitely take what I've learned. And I've had such personal conversations with everyone, at, a lot of people at Camp Sunshine have opened up to me. And I haven't really, I understand what they are saying to me, but I haven't really, it's hard to put yourself in that place. So while I'm there for them, I also, I don't really know where they're coming from, but after doing all this research and reading so many books on what it is really like for a parent to receive this news, for a child to receive this news, I'll just know, I'll know so much more. Maybe I'll be able to really stick by them and give them great advice. 
because it's different to see, to, to have advice from someone who knows more about the issue. And I think I can be much more supportive that way. Yes. Oh, great job. Thank you. What, what kind of training does Camp Sunshine do for its volunteers? Do you have to do specific training? Because I would imagine it's you know, very emotional yeah. working with children that may or may not have a terminal illness. Yeah. We, um, we actually have one day of orientation right before this week starts where we go around in a circle and we discuss. First, we play a bunch of different games to get to know each other. It starts off very energetic and fun. And then we really talk about what these patients coming in will have and what they may be going through at sickle cell and what to expect and how to really deal with these situations. They give us a lot of insight. And we are able to go to the psychosocial worker anytime we have issues or we have our own like questions or concerns. So it's just all, we all help each other out in that way. We're a very, very close-knit community. Yes, Anna? Will you maintain relationships with any of the families that you met? Yes. I talk to, I talk to right now I'm talking to two families every single day. I talk to them all the time. Um, I visit them. There's this family actually, one of the Hernandez family, who's on my thank you list. They actually drove to the carnival event and supported me, and that meant so much to me. I love, I try and maintain a relationship with everyone I meet there. I know it's hard to, but I know that I'll never forget every person I met, so it's nice. Yes? Congratulations Thank on you. your really inspiring project. Thanks. Um, you talked about just kind of always knowing that you're, you wanted to help others, that your purpose of your life was to help others. Yeah. Do you remember where that came from? Are there particular influences earlier in your life? Other than, obviously, your Find a Cure Club, I know you mentioned that, but yeah. are there others from when you were younger? That's a great question. I, for as long as I can remember, I've been raised to just do, uh, do things for other people. Maybe since elementary school, I've always been involved in community projects. And I find that I'm very interested in psychology, personally. I, I find people very interesting, and I love working with children. And every time I do something for other people, I feel so so amazing i don't know how to explain it like there's so there's so many i'm not perfect and there's so many negative qualities i have but when i'm doing things for other people i feel so i feel like i should be doing this and i really just feel like my life is about that and i actually miss planning this fundraiser because right now i'm just kind of focusing on schoolwork and while this <laughs> fundraiser was so hard to do and it was so stressful and overwhelming i felt like i should be doing this i felt so productive in my life. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, moving forward, you mentioned that you're going to have a relationship with Camp Sunshine. <laughs> what about beyond that? I mean, your studies in school, how has this affected what you're going to study in school or what the path your life yeah. is going to take? Okay. Um, I, well, I plan on pursuing a major in psychology and possibly going into social work, but I I'm also I'm choosing colleges based on their um, extra um, extracurricular activities and their communities, services, their groups and their clubs. Because I want to be involved in brother sister programs. I really want to. I just want to be involved in children's lives. I really. I just want to help out for as long as I can. And I'm. I'm so happy that I've been able to do so much. And I'm still only. I'm 17. I have so my whole life ahead of me. I could be doing so much more. So when I go to college, I'm always just going to look for other opportunities and other other places to change people's lives because I can. Okay. Is that it? Sunshine forever. You try the 
tears, Camp Sunshine. Calm the fears, Camp Sunshine. Love is here, Camp Sunshine, forever. We sail a wishboat on the pond and think about tomorrow. Hold a memory deep within and never let it go. We share the tears or happy times with those who understand us. We found a place where we can be at home.